The next thing I want to talk about is definition, definitions of words. So uh, just like axioms and facts, uh, so with words we have to at some point have fundamental words that we all just understand on a basic level uh, and accept. And uh, one of the most fundamental of these words is the word point. Now that should probably even strike you as a fundamental concept because it is sort of this one of the simplest geometric things you can imagine. It's not supposed to have parts, uh, it's not a region, it's, it's, it is not supposed to have any area or dimension or anything like that. It just has location. So in a way, uh, uh, points are these very fundamental objects. But even though I cannot formally, rigorously uh, define what they are, I can still give you some picture to help inform your intuitions and draw this, right? Uh, we, we will select our axioms, we will define our axioms so that this thing has rules governing it, right? The axioms will be like the rules governing our objects and we will pick them in such a way that the things we call points will will sort of um, have rules governing in them that are like the rules that intuitively govern uh, regular points. So point is we will choose our axioms so that the word point is used in sort of a common sense intuitive way. That's how we're going to pick our axioms. Uh, just like a, a, a point is a fundamental object, so also a line is somewhat of a fundamental object. Now it's not completely fundamental because we will say that a line is a set of points. Um, and so in a way, the, you know, a line is defined in terms of points so that it is not completely fundamental, but I will also be using this word set, right? I will be saying that the line is a set of points and, and the concept of a set is also fundamental and a line is, you know, built up out of them. But it's not just any set, right? It's not just any set of points. If it were just any set of points, that would, you know, that would not be a fundamental object. It would be uh, an object or a concept that uh, is really constructed out of the notion of sets and the notion of points, which would mean that it's not fundamental. Um, but it, but we could have this set of points, which is a region, not a line, right? So 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 it's not enough. It's not enough just to say that a line is a set of points. It's a it's a set of points with a special linear property. Uh, and again. To get that, to get that special line-like property, we have to choose our axioms uh, in the right way so that the thing that we call a line will, will have all the things we think it should have. So, uh, so again, uh, a line will be a fundamental object and therefore its properties will have to kind of be asserted in the axioms. Uh, similarly, planes will be fundamental objects and uh, and that's most of, you know, our uh, uh, fundamental objects. I mean, we could regard uh, angles as fundamental objects, and uh, we probably will. I, I think I'm going to develop it so that we think of angles as uh, uh, having certain fundamental properties, at least, defined by certain extra choices of axioms. But uh, in any case, uh, so that so that's the word about uh, or the the things that I wanted to say about uh, definitions. Now, uh, uh, well, I'll I'll save the conversation about notations for the next video.